Hello, Sagittarius. Great rising. Great rising. Welcome to the Manjul Awakening. My name is Kiana. Or welcome back if you are an existing subscriber. Guys, here on the Manjul Awakening, we do what is called the Daily Increase. It just gives you some guidance on your day. And this morning when I was trying to, I was getting ready to pick up these cards. This is what we started the journey with. I heard Spirit say, give them the works. I was hearing, like I thought it was, give them the work. Because this um, deck gives journal quotes or goals is really what it is. And so I was grabbing for this one. And I still, I still was led to keep it, but it said give them the works. So Sagittarius, I feel like that there's going to be an opportunity where you're able to be of service. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like that someone is going to be asking for something small. And it's like, if someone is asking for a dollar, give them five. If somebody is asking uh, for, you know what I'm saying? There's some, it's something about giving the works. The works. Yes. So we have bring humor into your life, become better, see the synchronicities. My, 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 that's a lot of work today. It says choose to empower yourself. My, my, my. I think that's the thing for this portion of the month, you know, is or, or this week is really embracing what it is that you're different, uh, different at and being the best version of that as, as as possible there's no need to take that away and try to become something different but there's always room to become something better you know what i'm saying and and there's a need to lighten up in life because there's some messages trying to come through it says think about whether you are truly a sense of if whether you truly have a sense of humor healing it is enhanced Healing is enhanced with humor, and laughter can enlighten almost anything, certainly most day-to-day -day irritations. Your goal to bring humor to everything that causes you stress, as this is one of the most empowered responses you can have. Become better. Dis to discover one thing that would make you better and move empowered. Wow, that's the theme. And move empowered at what you do and who you are and make it a part of your routine. If there is difficulty identifying why becoming better is something you wouldn't want to do. If this is difficult, identify why becoming better is something you wouldn't want to do. Your goal to recognize how and why you sabotage your empowerment. <laughs> See the synchronicities. Take note of all the synchronistic synchronistics happenings and coincidences that occur in one day. And know that nothing happens by accident. Your goal to appreciate the divine details that you, that are woven into every moment of your life. You know, there was, there's already synchronicities in this reading. And I feel like that that is what the universe is. I feel like that's the point. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know, Sag. I hope y'all following me. Because what is this, what I'm saying is, if you've been with me for a while, you know I don't normally read this slow. I don't normally trip. I mean, I'm not the fastest reader, you know. In, in school, I was dyslexic. I, it took me a lot of work to overlook it. And sometimes it still slaps me. But so, but today I feel like I'm going slow. And I feel like that I'm going back. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like things are moving slow for me right now. And I feel like that that's, that's, that's what Spirit is trying to translate over here. Because as I like I said, as I was picking up these cards, I heard give them the works. So don't rush through it. Take your time on this daily message. There's something about catching on to looking at a situation and where you decide to get, damn, I don't fit in right here, or damn, they really don't 
they ain't, they ain't feeling my vibe. Instead of going at it from that perspective, there is a need to see things from a different perspective. I just looked up in the camera and seen the four pentacles is right here. It's time to look in this treasure chest. Baby, you got something valuable about you. You got the right trick to win the tr the crowd over Sagittarius. But you it is you done so much work protecting this chest that you have forgotten what's truly in this chest. And it's time to begin to explore that again, Sag. All right. So let's see. What is the overall energy of today's food? Uh-uh. Yeah. The temperance in the reverse that you feel in out of balance that you yeah and with ooh there might be a bit of indulgence today ooh um don't get too don't get too don't let your eyes get bigger don't become too indulgent today Sagittarius let me just say it that way. Because I, I definitely feel an indulgent energy here. But at the same token, ooh, Sagittarius. There's a new beginning coming. And there's a new beginning. Looking here, we got the Ace of Pentacles, the full card, and the Page of Wands. And if you know anything about Tarot, I, I this the the page of wands is the minor arcana for the food card, and the all three of these stand for going after a brand new beginning, a brand new opportunity, and it's tangible. Like at the end of the day, this brand new beginning is very tangible. But there's this energy of making sure that you're not becoming too indulgent and realizing that good things really do take time. Good things, really. There is a reward for efforts, yes. Um, there's a reward for efforts, for patience. Or something you've already been patient for, so don't rush, like, don't get indulgent now. Let's see. What should Sagittarius draw in spirit? The four swords in the reverse. Hmm. For what Sagittarius to draw in? This is that energy of recovery. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And recovery. Withdraw. Ooh, Sagittarius. It's a, yeah, there's something. There's a brand new opportunity coming in. And <laughs> a reader is dropping in where I was saying. I'm gonna have to go find it because I can't, it can't. I can't think of the name right off. But I say, "Ooh, I'm not even trying to be funny." It's if you've been smoking too much, or if you've been doing anything, it's time to pull back from that because there's something that you want to make sure that you're gonna be able to have the go for. Um, I feel like that this is it. So today is like draw in to making sure that you're not being overindulgent. Don't smoke too much. Um, you know what I'm saying? Go. Don't overdo it just don't overdo anything this has to do with that new beginning though don't overdo it what does Sagittarius need to release today spirit you have to release a, a, a lover wow what <laughs> the knight of pentacles my um You know, Sagittarius, what I'm getting right here with this is that I feel like that you're going to have to release this. The lovers is, it is this part. It is a partnership, but most importantly, it's like this choice. So 
this choice to put in all of this work and you know what I'm saying and and making the decision well I'm responsible I can figure this out I da, 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 da. I don't need this and well excuse me and while that energy has its place in life and honey let me tell you your girl is quick to <laughs> I do it by my damn self <laughs> So I am not knocking you, Sage, but what I am saying is like making that choice, actively making that choice. I do feel like that that has to change right now. Um, I feel like that you can't. This is just about. I just want to like this is just about moving forward, persevering forward, being resilient. This does it like. Just because you're having to be resilient doesn't mean that you have to do it by yourself. There is a help along the way. And it's so crazy that this is what's coming up right now because I was watching Austin's Tarot a couple of hours ago. And he made this um, awkward, like he, it just naturally came out and you could see like, I don't know. You can do it with somebody else, you know, like you don't have to do like just because it didn't go well with someone else. It in in and, and it's like now I don't want to ex ever experience that again. It doesn't mean that the next experience is gonna be like that. You don't have to do this by yourself, and so it's 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 time to uh, let go of trying to force it with something or someone. And, and understand that just because you're letting go of doing it with this person, it doesn't mean that there's not another, um, like, there's not another option down the road. You know what I'm saying? But it don't become, don't allow things to become uh, out of balance. You know what I'm saying? Because today does have the potential to be very, like, I don't like the nine of cups in the reverse for the overall energy of the day. Or the temperance, because this is a whole lot of imbalance, a whole lot of dissatisfaction, and and it's and today it's just about Sagittarius needing to accept something for what it is and begin the process of the recovery, and don't hold yourself in that, and and don't sink into a state of depression or sadness or whatever it is that we, that you do when you feel defeated or when you feel like that something didn't succeed don't don't empower the disappointment choose to empower the opportunities that still live here right so let's just clarify one thing for Sagittarius yeah the ace of swords so truth was just spoken Uh oh, we have something else in here. The Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're definitely walking away from something or someone today, Sagittarius. And that brings in this new opportunity that kept showing face that it does bring in a new opportunity, guys. It does. Let's look at this lover's card here. Just two. Mm-hmm. Ooh. There's like the revelation. Ooh. For some Sagittarius, is there is the revelation of like a third party today. Um there's or and, and you know if it's not like if just the revelation is that someone's not been loyal, um, someone's been very deceitful. Uh, but most importantly, there's also this energy of needing to release, consciously making the choice to like, you know, the Seven of Swords is strategy. Whatever your strategy is, if it sets on the back of re revenge, of jealousy, of trying to, uh, how, how shall I, if it's on the back of trying to you know the queen of wands in the reverse is the need to re-establish yourself you, you didn't get your you had a kilter things is 
out of alignment because right now you are here torturing the world when you're the queen of wands in the reverse. So this is saying if your if anything about your strategy has the ability or is tormenting someone else or is yeah let me see how that feels or um and that's what you get energy that energy needs to be left like you got to get out of that energy side and 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 but i also feel like that when this comes to light this is saying this isn't the time to take revenge you know what i'm saying this this is the time there's no need to plot your get back or none of that this is just this is just about seeing it for exactly what it is and walking away seeing it for exactly what it is and walking in another direction seeing it for what it is and at that moment doing uh, what is it? An audit of everything that has transpired and actively choose to leave behind everything that binds you to that situation. I, I no longer bind to this. I no longer bind to this. I no longer bind to this and walk away. Release from it. There's no need to try to force it here. Why is such? Why is the show me just a little bit into the temperance in the reverse there's some discord here i don't like it said for the overall energy of today but you get to choose to empower yourself i love it i love it but you get to choose to empower yourself and it will require you to step into this queen of swords energy and be determined and be hell-bent to if it's not for movement i don't want it Matter of fact, my spirit guides is over here pulling me. So not only do I not want it, I don't even have the option for it. I'm not resisting today. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's not going to feel good. It's not going to feel good detaching. There's something that you're moving forward from today that you almost want to really gain revenge on. You know what I'm saying? But it's... It's almost as if when the moment of relief, it's like you're going to be, you're going to feel a moment of relief followed by a moment of sorrow. And spirit is calling you to feed into relief instead of, or empower relief instead of empowering the sorrow. That's, that's how you can manage this situation today, Sag. Okay. Let me, this is just a daily message and I'm over here just rambling. I pray that these messages are providing you all with some guidance on your journey today. If these messages are resonating, we would absolutely appreciate a thumbs up down below. What was that? All is in perfect timing. Let's see, Spirit. What's going on for Sag? What's the closing message here? For the daily increase. Have no fear. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to you allow Archangel Michael to use the sword of light to free you from the disquiets and feelings holding you back. Absolutely. You and your loved ones you and your loved ones are safe. And this is a 14 card and this is a 41 card. So there's definitely a need to do some reflecting and some assessment and deciding which what is going to be your truth today. And don't allow it to be fear and understand that in speaking your truth and standing on your truth, you and your loved ones, they are safe. And have no fear about it. But right now it's about being a light to others. That's a four card. Wow. Something that has been stable. You know what I'm saying? Maybe changing, but it's changing to get some things shifting into gear for you, Sag. Open to get you to open your heart. No one is perfect. Stop judging yourself and others and let love heal the situation. Um, love, love is release. You know what I'm saying? Uh, set yourself free from this. All right, Sagittarius, I pray that this message provided you with some guidance on your day. If this message resonated, we would absolutely appreciate that thumbs up down below. And in all that we say and in all that we do, let's choose peace, Sag. Love and light.